and welcome back to Jessica Doing Things Differently. If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys are returning, thank you. Um, today's video, as you guys can see in the title, is a kitchen gadget haul with a few miscellaneous items. And I did mix the Wish and Vova um, items together because I don't exactly have enough to make it on its own. So, <clears throat> so I just smushed them together to make one video. Which, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the small item. And it says that it is green onion scissors. So, let's open it up, shall we? I'm always afraid that I'm gonna cut the contents of, the, of what's in here, and I watch other people do hauls and they're just like cutting like right here. And I'm like, whoa, aren't you, aren't you not afraid? You're not afraid to cut the item? I am. Um, it always makes me cringe, so I always try to do it as carefully as possible, right? So, <clears throat> they look like a normal pair of scissors at first. These were from Wish. They were a dollar with a dollar shipping. And they have three pieces on them in the front and back and they just from the front they just look like regular scissors but from the side there is three now there was the option to pick three or five of these i picked three so let's try them out okay so those of you who do not know i do have a garden outside i have a greenhouse and then up against my house um i have quite a few um, herbs that are up against the house so I just went and picked my green onions from the garden um, and these were actually from the store and they were the green onions with the white part on the bottom and the roots I took the roots dropped one I took the roots and I put them in a styrofoam cup with about this much water about that much water and I just went just like that. I obviously cut the tips off because I used them. Um, I let it pretend like these were the tips. I let the water go about an inch to an inch and a half above the roots. <clears throat> and then once they, the green part started to grow back, I put them outside in the dirt. You can also just keep them in the water and they will just keep on growing and you can cut them from the water. And I would say I've probably cut these about five times and they just keep on growing back. I don't know how long they're gonna continue to grow back, but five uses out of a dollar thing bunch of onions is pretty good so just a little tip if you guys like green onions like me and you can't grow them from seed so anyways let's move on all right so here are the onions and here are my scissors i'm just going to bunch them together and start cutting obviously So, I feel like what's supposed to happen is not happening. They're kind of just getting stuck in my scissors right here. But anyways, it's a lot faster than the traditional way, which is cutting them. Um, still works pretty well. I mean, I definitely still use them. I just use my regular kitchen, or I mean my regular like craft scissors and I wipe them with my rag and then I use them um, and then I wipe them back off again and put them back in the drawer but obviously this is like a lot better because these actually have like a use like this is what they're used for so I don't have to worry about um, using this on my onions and then going and cutting a piece of paper with right right so as you guys can see it did cut them just fine. Um, I don't know about the neatness of it per se. So like if I needed this to be like neater, um, I don't know if it would really work for that, but I think that they worked pretty well. Um, this, will, this will be interesting to see if they actually hold up with water and not rusting, um, but I think that they worked really well. So let's get back up here and move on to the next thing. All right, so as you guys can see, they didn't like work 100% like how I maybe wanted them to work, but that's still pretty good. I mean, they get the job done and it's a lot faster than sitting there with a knife and going individually 
when you could just go cut, 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 and it's done. So, I mean, hey, it works for what I wanted to work it for. Um, I did think that those slits were going to actually cut them, um, and then it was going to be like three rows of onions cut at one time. It did that, but it didn't. I mean, that doesn't really make sense, but you guys saw what happened, so you can kind of understand what I mean by it. But anyways, let's move on. So the next item I have is from Boba, and it is... 345. Now this is plastic because it says dippers on it, so I already know what it is. I know that I'm not going to cut into it. So these guys are little dippers. So you put them on your plate right there, and then you put your sauces in here. Um, there's green, there's red, <clears throat> there's orange, and there's yellow. And each one has like a little stopper on it because I think that that is like rubber so that it doesn't just slide right off the plate because of the plastic on top of glass, it'll be slippery. So let's try it out. All right, so here's my plate. Here's my little dipper. I'm gonna use red since I have a red plate, all color coordinated and stiff. All right, so let's see how easy this is, right? So you put it up against and you just slide it on. Oh wow, that was pretty easy. That just clipped right on. However, you see how it's kind of slanted? Like, thankfully these are, are deep enough to where like you don't have to worry about it like falling out, but I'm afraid that it might like fall out if it were like super liquidy, but this is amazing. Let's try some like ketchup or something in it. All right, so you guys can see that I filled it up to about right here on there, um, and it's not it's not coming out at all. You can see the, can you see the sauce? Yes. So, I mean, it's it's in there pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and let you see. It's about to spill out. So let me just do this. Right, I mean, you get the gist, yeah? Yeah, okay, so, so cool. You have whatever you have and then you go dip, dip, dip. <coughs> Do you want two dips? Sure you do. Bam. Now you have two cups. Oh, you want three different dips? Are you not just satisfied with barbecue sauce and ketchup on your plate? Let's add another one for maybe, let's say, hot sauce. Oh, you want more? Here's another one. And you still have a, like a place right here to hold. And there's your dips. So you're having a party, right? And... You can obviously put this on a bigger plate, which obviously you would, or a platter of some sort. And you have your salsa, you have your cheese, you have your green onions, you have your um, tomatoes, you have your chips in the middle. Bam, best purchase I think I purchased on Vova. This is awesome, $3.45. So that means like each one was like a dollar, what? 10 a dollar 12 maybe whatever something like that super clever invention like whoever invented this thumbs up so again here they are and they don't come off like they're not wiggly at all very very good all right guys let's move on okay so the next one i had to put in the freezer prior to starting the video um because it is an ice tray now let's ask a question right you have a bottle of water that has been in your car because you got the big 24 case of, of water, you put it in your car, you got home, you took all your groceries in, you didn't want to bring in the water, right? Too heavy, forgot, don't need it out, don't want it out, whatever the case may be. Now your water is cold, right? I mean, now your water is hot because it's in the summertime. What do you do? Put it in the fridge? Sure. You don't wait that long, right? You want your water now and you want it cold. You can't put ice cubes inside of it because they're a big clunky square thing. Problem solved with this little guy. Now, the ice cubes are still not frozen, <clears throat> but it is a silicone ice tray. And the ice, ice like holes are oblong, almost like a rectangle, if you will but it's, it's like a, isn't that like, 
and then bam, it goes right into the um, the bottle, any bottle. You want soda, you want uh, water, you want juice, you have your Gatorade, anything that a normal square ice cube could not fit in and you don't want to transfer into a glass, problem solved with this. The only thing I don't like is it's so flimsy, but and I thought that that would be a problem when I filled it up. Like I thought it would like spill everywhere, but it didn't. I filled it up and I walked straight over to the thing and I put it right in and it worked just fine. So this was two dollars and nine cents, and this one was from um, Vova as well. So I'm a super big fan of this. They come out super easily, and like you guys saw, like just watch. Oh, spilling but they do come out super easily. I just can't show you guys at the moment because it is not thawed yet, but they do come out really easy. Let me go ahead and shove this bad boy back in here and we'll try it again at the end of the video because clearly they're not ready. So $2.09 for what I think is a pretty clever invention. All right, so this guy is from Boba as well. A lot of these things I've noticed are from Boba. Interesting. Maybe I'll change my title before I put it up. So this is a potato peeler, uh, zucchini peeler, carrot peeler, cucumber peeler, I guess whatever type of peeler you want it to be. But it has like different ridges, right? So we have the really sharp one. I'm gonna say that about all of them really but there's just different types of peelers. And I don't exactly know how to work this. I'm assuming you just, oh, you just turn it. See? Isn't that the coolest little thing ever? However, I've said that about every single one of them. So, whatevs. I think they're all cooler. I wouldn't have bought them, right? And it actually doesn't feel super cheap either. Like it has this um, nice design on it. The handle is nice and sturdy, and like I said, you just twist these two knobs, and there's even an arrow to show you how to turn it. Bam. 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 All right, let's see if I have something to peel. Be right back. I mean, I tried it, but it's not really working that well. Um... It's probably because my carrot is too small, but it's just not working very well. It keeps on turning, like when I go to do it, like this keeps on turning itself, and this one doesn't really work. I don't know, maybe this is a bust, guys. I'm not really sure but it appears like this doesn't work very well. Um, I will try it on a bigger item and let you guys know in the description whether or not this turned out to work or not work, but I don't know, it was $3. It was a dollar with $2 shipping, so I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? Let's move on. All right, so here's the next guy. This guy is a garlic, um, onion, um, pepper, uh, whatever, cutter. So it looks like this, here's the lid, you take it off, you put your stuff in here, you put this back on, you set it down, and then you go, and it cuts and dices everything up for you, so you don't have to. Does it work? Let's find out. All right, so we have our pepper, Go ahead and put it in there, put it down, wipe my hands off, and let's go. Should it be in like the middle maybe? All right. Is it working? Amazing. Oh, 
you just kind of had to <clears throat> mush it around a little bit. All right, let me go ahead and take this out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so did it work wonderfully? No. Did it work okay? Yes. So there is one big clump, which is right here and here. Oops, sorry. Um, otherwise, these are all like pretty small. Like I'm a, I'm a fan of this. I feel like if it were something a little bit harder, like this would have worked like perfectly. If it were like an onion or like maybe even garlic, it would have diced this up really well. Um, and I also think that if I would have had it sit on the table and I was just going at it or on the kitchen counter going at it, it would have worked like a charm. Um, this was definitely worth the, it was like $3 and some change. I'll go ahead and pop the price right here. Um, and then the place right here. So, um, it doesn't say whether or not I got it on Boba or, um, Wish, but I know obviously it was one of those places, but definitely one of like the, the better purchases. Like, let's move on. These very plain. I got it for Boba for $8.50 and it is a boy and a girl and what these are for is to go in your kitchen cabinet or your bathroom cabinets, your kitchen cabinets. I guess you can put them wherever you like but I when I got it it showed the picture of a bathroom and you put it on your bathroom underneath your bathroom sink on like the, the, the counters or the, the why can't I think of what they're called the doors of underneath your sink and you hang them up and you have your boy towel thing and your girl towel thing. And then you know which washcloth is yours or I don't know, whatever. As if you don't know where your which, which washcloth is yours, but if you have kids, it's handy in the fact of like kind of teaching them what it what it's for, you know? So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like on. All right, so here it is obviously without, um, it is very loose, but I'm sure you can just tighten up there and kind of mush them together a little bit to hold tighter on the cabinets. Um, it is, this isn't like sharp or anything where I would be like afraid that I would like hit my leg into it. And then you hang your towel up like that and it is just so cutesy. Aww, little cutesy woozy woo. Little cutesy woozy woo. Little cutesy woozy woo. Let's move on to the next item. The next item is the same concept, right? Um, but this one is just a tad bit different. And I got this, which I don't know if it's actually going to work or not, but it is, all right, let me show you guys. All right, so this is what I got it for. He, it hangs up here, and this is the inside of the cabinet. And I wanted to hang my bottles on there so they weren't sitting on the inside. Um, I just figured that this would kind of take up a little less room, I suppose, um, opposed to sitting all on like the shelf or whatever. You can also hang a towel from this as well. And you can also hang it up in your cabinets, which is also a good idea. So you can hang it above your counters and do whatever you like with it. But this is my idea for it. Um, it is very discreet. So when I close my cabinets, you just see this right here. And this is something that you can easily cover up with um, if you put like a towel or washcloth or not, not at all. I mean, here's what it looks like um, when it is just closed. So I personally love the idea. I think it is good for what I need it for. And as you can see, when I did close it and opened it and I'm wiggling it around even, you cannot, um, it doesn't fall off, which is perfect for what I need it for. All right, guys. All right, so the last and final thing was $1 with $2 shipping, which after I made this purchase, I realized that it probably wasn't the best purchase as far as like money wise, like it didn't really make sense, but then I realized I got two. So did it make sense? Maybe, maybe it did. But this is the one that I said I couldn't really find a good category for. 
Um, and this is a toothpaste roller. So it comes with your little instructions, which are probably not going to be understandable, but remove the cap, align the inner groove parallel to the outer groove, slide the toothpaste tube into the grooves, replace the cap ensuring it is firmly closed, and rotate the knob to squeeze the tube. Easy enough, right? Let's find out. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and do this together, right? So it says, remove the cap. Mm. Wrong end. All right, removed. Align the inner groove parallel to the outer groove. Okay. Slide the toothpaste tube into the groove. Okay. Replace the cap, ensuring that it is firmly closed. Okay. Now, rotate the knob and to squeeze the tube. There was a groove in here in this white piece you see it right there that little you had to put it in there too and through the clear part be a little bit more specific directions okay okay all right so put the lid firmly back on and roll well oops Oh my gosh, why is this not working very well? Because it was a dollar, Jessica. Duh. Duh. Oh, oh there we go. But I want to do it too bad. There's like a little thing on here that keeps on getting in my way, <clears throat> but it's supposed to be there so that it doesn't like just unroll itself, right? So it is working. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Not that easy. I kind of figured that it ought to be a little bit easier than this, right? Maybe it's all squeezed up. So you get it all squeezed, and then you arch this little guy on the wall, like so, and you hang her up. And that actually is not that bad of a look like I'm not mad at it I'm not mad at the way that it looks that looks better though so I got two of these one for my upstairs bathroom one for my downstairs bathroom and I don't know I mean this actually isn't that bad it's a dollar I mean like I said in the beginning like I kind of thought like oh that's like a silly purchase like I spent three dollars on two little rollers that are gonna like break the second I put it in there or not work at all but it works and it's actually pretty cool this is like really cool actually like even if you don't hang it up like it's still it's still like I don't know I like it I like it a lot if you like this video give it a thumbs up go ahead and leave a comment subscribe if you would like and hit that bell for notifications for every time I upload another video bye so here are the ice cubes and as you guys can see they're not fully uh, melted yet but they are super easy to take in and out of here. You see, I fell on the ground, oops. But they're they're not hard to get out. I mean, that's the part of this that I actually like. So, just wanted to give you guys an update because I forgot to show you guys these before. Shoop, shoop, shoop.